Hey there marketing fans, this is 3 minute marketing and in this video we're going to talk about sales pages and we're going to simplify that for you. Alright, so uh, the big question is here is do I need a sales page for my offer? Alright, so what are sales pages anyway? So if you have an offer, a product or a service that you're selling, then you will most probably need a sales page. Alright, so it's a standalone page, it's more like a landing page, but all right, but the purpose is to make that sale. All right, it's to convert. If you think of it as part of the funnel, it is to convert that leads into sale, to leads to customers. All right, so that's the purpose of a sales page. So it's basically a landing page with a buy button. All right, but it does have some features that you need to to have in order for you to get people to be converted. All right, so there's two types of sales page really quickly. Now, so this is the long form and there's the short form. So really, you know, both types are designed similarly. So they pretty much contain the same elements. Uh, you have the headlines, you have the pitch, you have the video, you have the copy, All right, The only difference is the length because uh, the short form is of course shorter, long form is of course longer. Uh, you know, it has pretty much the same goals to get sales, and you could use it on just about any niche. All right, so here's some big differences that you need to remember. All right, so a short form sales page is great if your prospects are already highly aware of your product or brand. So, so if, if you're a big brand, or uh, you know, if you, you have a very popular product, or if you have this list that is very, very much into you or into your brand into your products that you know sometimes in order for you to sell to them all you need is a short form sales pitch chart right? so also you you could use uh, a short form if your product or service is of low cost all right and also if it's low risk low commitment all right so if your products like a, a seven day uh, i mean a seven dollar product and you know they could return it at any time and it's a one-time pay, then it's good, right? You know, if it's a $20 product, yes, you can still use a short form sales page. And of course, if a product or service is easy to understand and use. Now, you use the long form sales page when the price tag is a little bit high, right? So when you're working on like $500 or more, even $200 sometimes, you know, you could, you could do a hybrid like a medium form sales page. All right, the product is also a little bit complicated, and of course your audience is a low awareness of your product or service. That's where you use the long form, and it's a highly, highly, high commitment product. So if it's a monthly recurring membership type, then <clears throat> that's where you need to use the long form sales page. And also when you use the long form sales page, in, in most cases you're going to use a much longer sales video as well. All right, so. That's uh, your sales page simplified. So <clears throat> that's it. So I'm going to see you guys next time.